Husband wanted to surprise his wife with early arrival from work. Instead, a huge shock awaited him. Husband wanted to surprise his wife with early arrival from work. Instead, a huge shock awaited him. Middle age crisis is a term that we always hear about men. But actually, women also have their own middle age crisis. It's really hard for a woman to accept that she is aging. A midlife crisis in women is an emotional state where every woman thinks that almost one half of her life is over as a feeling that she is no longer productive, beautiful, or confident. There are times that she's bored, confused, afraid of loss. The midlife crisis is one of the issues that destroyed Sarah's life. When she was a teenager, Sarah never thought for a moment that she will suffer from this issue. One day her life was happy and a little bit crazy. Back then. When Sarah was in college, she was one of the most popular kids in all school. She tried all the crazy stuff that a teenager can try – drugs, alcohol, and all kinds of sexual pleasures. Besides, Sarah was known as one of the most beautiful girls in all the school. All the guys wanted to talk with her, even if it was just for a couple of moments, and all the girls wanted to be your friend. We can just say at that time. Sarah was literally living like a queen because of that, Sarah never kept a boyfriend for more than a month. She was always leaving her boyfriend for another guy. Every time Sarah left a boyfriend, she had a different reason. Sometimes the new guy was richer or smarter, and sometimes she just seemed to like the new guy more, and she didn't have to explain why. At that time, Sarah was always saying to her friend, why should I keep one boyfriend? While I have all these options, it was clear to everyone Sarah's relationships were only about having fun and she never took it seriously. She said once to a friend of hers, One day I'll get married to a rich, smart, and good-looking guy. Until I find this guy, I'll keep having fun living her life. In that way, Sarah crushed a lot of people's hearts, but she never cared about it for her. Besides, she never had the time to think about a previous relationship because she was always busy with a new one. In her last year of college, Sarah met Alex. He was studying with her in the same class for years, but she never noticed him. Unlike Sarah, Alex was so quiet and didn't have a lot of friends. Alex was a very good student and he used to help his classmates study. Sarah was struggling to pass on her last semester of college, and she was asking her friends for help. But the problem was that all of her friends were just like her, interested only in partying and having a good time. One day Sarah was asking one of her friends if she knows someone who can assist her, and she told her that she introduced her to Alex, the smart guy in her class. When Sarah first met Alex, she wasn't surprised that Alex already knew who she was. Alex was very nice to Sarah. He helped her a lot and with his help, she could pass the semester with really good grades that she never could get before. Sarah felt so thankful to Alex, and she wanted to give him something. In return, she invited him to what she called the biggest party ever. Alex told her that he isn't used to going to parties and he was so honest with her when he told her that he went to a party before. Sarah was surprised when she heard that from him and she asked him, all those people you're helping and no one of them ever thought to invite you to a party. Alex said, I really don't think of it like that. Maybe they knew that parties aren't my scene, Sarah, or maybe they're just people and they didn't deserve your help. Anyway, this is not the case with you are coming to my party. It was clear to Alex that Sarah will not take no for an answer, so he finally agreed to go to the party. He promised Sarah that he will come and he will bring her a gift to celebrate her graduation. When Alex arrived at Sarah's on the night of the party, as he promised her, he found the place very crowded and noisy. The music was so loud that she couldn't speak with anyone. The alcohol was everywhere. There were some guys smoking weed in the garden, and there was some cocaine left on a table. And there were some people who decided to jump in the swimming pool naked for Alex. That was a total mess. He wasn't having any fun. He just wanted to see Sarah give her the gift that he brought with him and go away. So he sat down on the couch until she appeared. When Sarah finally showed up, she was so drunk that she couldn't even stand. Alex had to approach her to tell her that he needed to give the gift and leave. But she couldn't hear him because of the music, so they decided to take the conversation to his car in car. 
Alex apologized to Sarah and told her that he wanted to leave because he was so sure at that point that he doesn't like this kind of party. Sarah told Alex that she has also got tired from the party and she wanted to stay with him in the car so they can talk quietly. When they were in the car together, Sarah and Alex were talking and laughing. They forgot about the party. At that night, Sarah thought for a moment that Alex could be the one. One thing led to another, and before they even knew, Sarah and Alex found themselves in the same bed in a hotel room. The next morning, when she was about to leave, Sarah promised Alex that she will call him in order to speak with him about what just happened. But she never called him back. For Sarah, it was the first time to get drunk and find herself in someone's bedroom. She always does the same, telling the guy how much she enjoyed her night and promises that she will call him, but she never does. On the other hand, Alex was waiting for her to call him. He even tried to call her, but he couldn't reach her. After two weeks, Alex was trying to move on by him, making himself busy at work. He was a hard worker and he gave all of his time to his new job but he didn't that his life was about to change. One day Sarah called him and asked to meet with him. Alex and Sarah agreed on going out for dinner. Sarah told Alex over dinner that she was so drunk that night that they were together and she seemed like she forgot to use protection. She told him that she is pregnant and she didn't know what to do. That's why she called him. Alex got shocked by what he just heard from Sarah. He went silent for a moment before asking her, do you want to keep the baby, Sarah? I don't know yet. What do you think? Alex, for sure. I would like to have a baby, especially with you. I don't know if you notice that or not, but I like you a lot and I would like to be with you. Sarah told Alex that she wanted to think about it and she'll call him back again in order to inform him what is going to be her decision this time. Alex didn't wait for too long. After a couple of days from his last meeting with Sarah, she called him to tell him that she decided to keep the baby and give the relationship a chance to work. Alex was so happy about that. He promised Sarah that he will do whatever he can to make sure that she and the baby will be happy during the pregnancy. They even decided to get married so they could take care of the baby together. Everything went so fast. They didn't have a wedding. They just went to the charge by themselves and they didn't invite it after they had their first baby, who was a lovely girl named Anna. Sarah and Alex were living a happy life together. They were going out every weekend, and they didn't miss a summer without traveling to a new place. Besides, Alex was so romantic with Sarah, he was always surprising her and getting her gifts. Alex was doing great in his job, so Sarah didn't have to work. But the family needs were growing with the time. Especially they had another child this time, a little boy named Charlie. So Alex needed to work more in order to provide for his family's needs. Year after year, Alex has been working hard for his family. He never said no to any request. He always made sure that his wife and kids got all they want. But he forgot about Sarah. He wasn't surprising her as he used to. At this time, Sarah felt left out. She started to remember her old days at college when she was a queen, how she was beautiful, young, and confident. She said of herself that she would give her life to feel like that again. Sarah started to chat with some young guys online while her husband and children aren't around to feel herself again. She even set up an account on a dating app and she posted her photos to check the guys' comments on it. At that point, Sarah realized that she was going through a midlife crisis, but she didn't know what to do about it. She was blaming Alex for what happened because he is the one who stopped taking care of her feelings. One day, Alex came back early from his work in order to surprise his wife, as he used to do. He knew that his kids would be in the school at this time, so he decided to go home, bringing his wife a beautiful gift. But when he arrived, he saw something shocking. Alex saw his wife kissing a young man in the garden, and she seemed so drunk. Alex got very angry. It took Sarah all week in order to reach Alex. After he left the house that day, she apologized to him and explained her issue. Alex didn't understand at first that women also can get a midlife crisis. But after he asked a psychologist, he finally understood. Alex decided to come back to his home and help his wife once again to move on in her issue. They started to see the psychologist together until they moved on and they understood living a happy life with their two lovely kids until this day.